Hey guys, this is uh, Zebra5, but you can just call me Tom. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to successfully command AI squad mates in Arma 2. I'll just be using this custom mission, which I quickly created earlier. Um, so, uh, yeah, in a second, we'll just get started. Now, most missions will come with a briefing, but since I made this quickly, uh, it doesn't yet. Uh, however, the idea is fairly simple. Um, I'll, sh I'll outline it for you once it gets in game. It takes a little while due to the recording. Okay, so here we are at the camp, and there's my fire team and uh, Humvee. Uh, in a second, I'll access the map. All right. So we start here at a USMC camp at Mogilevka, yeah. <laughs> and we take this road all the way down here, take that little side road and head uh, east all the way down here to a Jidaki camp at Pusta. And somewhere in this area, um, there will be an ammo cache, which we also have to destroy. And once we're done with that, we need to head back the way we came and arrive back at the same camp so let's go so basically I'm just gonna order the guys in and that's oh, just a, get in, a point and click Roger. affair um, I'll wait for them to get in before I do right flank, uh, you'll notice man. that your second in command is always getting in as the driver your third in, your third in command I guess is always getting in as a gunner and everyone else tries to get in whatever position is left uh, which in this case is the back, and I'll just let the AI drive uh, for sake of the video. Three. Uh, a good idea to get Three. the maximum You're effectiveness out of your gunner Three. is to Cover put him in danger, uh, make him engage at will, and to scan horizon. Now, we don't exactly want to go charging in, so I'll put us back somewhere way over here, um, and simply Two. select the driver Northwest. and uh, click on the map where you want him to go, and away he goes now. Now I'll apologize in advance for any silly mistakes that the AI make, and it's still not uh, perfect in Arma 2 yet, but I'm sure it'll get perfected eventually. Now one thing that I like to do is, when I'm in vehicles, is to have third person enabled so that you get access to this uh, command view. Uh, yeah, you see here's an AI screw up, which didn't happen before actually in previous playthroughs. Uh, but anyway, um, you get this command view, which gives you a much more realistic, in my opinion, uh, view of the surroundings, and rather than just being locked into first person, um, which you'll get on some of the higher difficulties. Speaking of difficulties, I just I play on regular, but I've modified it to make it a bit more difficult. Um, you see ahead of me that we have forest, and to our left we have forest, and to our right we have forest. Big surprise. Um, now basically those are areas I'm going to want to keep track of while we're moving just in case um, there's any Chidaki in these woods. Uh, one thing that I made sure of in this mission is that it's dynamic so I, that I don't know necessarily where the AI are going to be. Um, so that's not really ridiculously easy. Now that we've entered the forest, um, I tend to like to disable the uh, command menu and simply stay in third person but press V and that locks you in a zoomed in look until you press V again um, and basically just this gives you a clearer picture of what's beside you and you uh, particularly pay attention to the dips on which are currently on the right side of the road but you want to keep scanning left and right now. and soon we should be coming to where I told the AI to go um, still keeping an eye on the left and the right sides of the road, particularly the right. But also, you also have the higher vantage points on the left, which would be a logical place for them to ambush you. But it looks like they're okay for now. And now we're moving back into a more open area as we exit the woods. Um, and still keeping an eye on the higher up and lower areas and now we are where I told the AI to go. Um, so what I like to do is I like to get the driver and anyone else to disembark first along with myself then before I disembark the gunner 
because he's protecting us while we disembark. Uh, I put him back into the normal mode, so Three. basically stay tell him to stay alert to disengage. Three. disengage. And, um, Three. Give him no, no target, target, which essentially cancels Three. the disembark. Uh, scan horizon order. Standing by. All. And Get basically back. I just order them Roger. back into formation. And I'll take a look at the map in a second. Oh, oh another fire. thing that's good is to keep your guys in hold fire if you don't want them to be engaging everything they see. Uh, okay, so we're about here. Uh, you can see on my GPS that we're right where I'm about to put a marker. Um, a good thing that you should get into the habit of is marking vehicles that you might need later. Um, it doesn't really matter what marker you use or what color you use, just uh, one that you can remember. Um, you can see that up north of Pusta there's a higher ground area with forest and foliage and such, which 